all those episodes were like doing like a feature, like a mini feature every week. And that's, that's just, you never knew what to expect. And they were so creative and so wonderfully, you know, they were certainly spooky and strange and dark and scary, but they were, they all made sense. They, they all were, there was some form to it. And the writing was always so spectacular and the directing, it was just this magic moment this chemistry of these, this group of people, you know, that uh, it really put this thing together. And I, you know, he talks about the scary moments, you know, hearing and not what, what you see so much. I, uh, back in, when I was in my student days, I, I told you earlier that I was a big fan of you know, avant-garde and experimental music. And I've used some of those ideas where, you know, I think a lot of people heard this and didn't really know where this came from or the origin of it, you know, where some other composers would hear and said, oh, that's like Stravinsky or that's like Schoenberg or that's like, you know, naming a whole group of modernist, you know, composers. So it was... It was kind of cool that, you know, Chris Carter and all the writers and directors, uh, producers didn't, you know, have a handle on that music. And they were hearing it, you know, in a sense, for the first time, you know. And they would think, wow, this is so original and so wonderful. Well, the idea certainly is original, using that kind of music in a show. But if you took it, some, some of that music, and compared it to, to, some, to some modernist classical music, you'd hear some similarities, you know, and that's, uh, that was really, really fun, <laughs> to say the least.